hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are welcome my name is beauty guys i'm going to be doing part two of this video i just finished the part one now so guys i'm going to show you guys how i package my africa food yes i'm going to you know first of all to package the the perishable one like the fish like the fish and the you know the fresh leaf is what i'm going to try to package because my deep freezer is filled up so i don't have i don't really have space so what i'm going to do is that the other ones like the ogbolo and the and the other ones that i'm going to put it on my balcony yes so guys without wasting much of your time i'm going to take you along to see you to, for you guys to see the way you know i package it so guys let's dive into the video just relax you know and just and let's do it together chill out chill, chill, chill. let's do it together so over here are all the things so though i already show you guys in my previous video so over here is my pepper so uh let's see it let me bring it down a little bit yeah over here is my pepper so i don't really have any other thing to put it because almost every everything here is speed up almost all the rubbers and the pots and the train i have everything is speed up so over here is my crayfish this is crayfish so and here is the other one so i bought a basin of crayfish and this is it and also this pepper is also a basin of pepper and over here is my prawns my dry prawns so and also this is a basin of dry prawns so i'm going to show you guys how i package it this is you know very big this is the bigger one this is what we call in my beautiful dialect Ijenita. yes this is Ijenita. and this is the other one and over here is my fish yes so this is fish this is what we call a week yeah this is what we call a week it's very big fish and it's very very sweet when you use it to cook ogbolo soup guys when you use this fish to cook a bowl of soup, you are going to lick your hands. Yes. And over here, I have my pepper soup spices. So over here is my pepper soup spices. Normally, I, I normally order for you know branded one, but because sometimes they don't miss it, you don't know what they miss with it. That is why nowadays I don't I don't buy the branded one. What I do is just to get it fresh. This is what we call this is the calabash of the you know of the so spices and this here over here I have the rest you know the rest is in there so what I'm going to do I'm going to be grounded in myself it's better so you know the scent and everything you know what you are putting into your food and over here I have my fish so this fish is called ehem bebadie yes it's what is called ehem bebadie this is how it looks. This is any day by day. And over here is my okoroko. I have two two pots of okoroko. This is okoroko. This is how it looks, which is you know normally low as stockfish. And over here is my okbolo. This is also a basin of okbolo. And this is how it looks. So we are going to be packaging the fish. The fish first. The fish need to go in in the deep freezer. So I'm going to try to create a space for this fish on my deep freezer. When this one we have this one here in Africa store, you can't buy it. Eh? Maybe some maybe fish like this. Let me add let me told you it's 100, 100 euro or 250 euro. Especially here in Sweden, that things are very cost. So this tip is too much. I'm just going to
guys, this is my fresh bitter leaf. So what I did was just to, you know, cut it and slice it. So what I, I'm doing now is to wash it. So I just added some salt to it in case if there's any, you know, any bacteria there, that salt can, you know, wash it away from me, for me. So I'm going to tie this now. I've already been washing it. I've already soaked it for some minutes. So what I'm going to do is just to, you know, drill it, drill the water away. Then and began to, you know, tie it. I'm going to tie it in a separate rubber bag in case I want to cook bitter leaf soup. So this is fresh bitter leaf. So this is what a uh, journey <laughs> travel did to my fresh bitter leaf. Though it's still it's still very fresh, eh? Actually, it's still very fresh. So what I'm going to do now is just to, you know, maybe some somewhat like this. Then I'm going to tie it in a plastic bag, about 300 to 500 gram. In case I want to cook soup, then I will just bring it out. I also have a beer beer one, a beer beer beer, and the funky leaf soup over here. So I just test on what I take you along. Guys, I just finished, guys, I just finished, you know, tying my bitter leaf. So these are all my bitter leaves. So I just put them in a plastic, plastic. So this is about 220 gram each. So I'm, what I'm going to do now is just to package them and put them in my deep freezer. So whenever I want to cook bitter leaf soup, then I will just bring one out. Then I can also add any other bit, any other leaf if I want, like it, like the beer 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 I was talking about. So I can also add a beer 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 to this. So I'm going to be combining it with the beer beer beer. And over here I also have some dry bitter leaf. This is one of the dry bitter leaves. So I'm going to package this one too. So this one is going to be out of camera. This is dry bitter leaf. I also have dry ubu, ubu leaf. Yeah. So that is it for this video and if you know you are not subscribed what are you waiting for click the red button that says subscribe and let's be one family and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so anytime i upload a new video you will be the, you will be the first to be notified thank you all so so much for your love for the care for the support for always coming to watch my video i appreciate you guys Guys, if I should turn my camera around for you guys to see, everywhere is feed up in this kitchen. <laughs> it's just like I'm in a, I'm in, I'm in a dust state. Let me say a dust state. I cannot say in a dust state. It's just like I'm in a dust state. I'm in my, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the market. Let me say new Benin market or only a market. I'm just there. <laughs> my kitchen is just like that because everywhere is feed up. When I turn the camera around, oh my god. Apart from everywhere food, everywhere is messed up with Africa food. <laughs> well, I thank God for mercy journey, for God bringing him back. So I just thank God. Yes, by the pandemic and all, oh, everything was just you know, perfect. I say may his name be praised. So that is it for this video. See you guys on my next video. Remember, blessed guys. Bye bye.